Big Money! Fantastic to be here today celebrating with you. And we are celebrating. And we're celebrating because one year on means we're one year closer to independence. There are people, there are people who say we should wait for another referendum. We should wait until we are certain of winning. Well, I can agree with that. But with this one qualification, we are already certain we are winning. Yes. And when we get that next chance, we don't want to wait too long for the next chance. But when we get that next chance, we're going to achieve that little bit extra support. And we're going to smash through that winning line. And we are going to achieve freedom for our country. Meantime, we have seen, as we said would happen, the result of the No campaign has been to put us under the most right-wing Tory government that's been seen in this country in over a century. And already they're attacking benefits, they're attacking workers' rights, and they're attacking British people. We've seen they've taken upon themselves the right of extrajudicial execution. They are saying that they have the right without trial to assassinate British people by drones on the basis of a Prime Minister who was elected with the support of only 24% of the electorate. And at the same time, they are saying that a union needs over 40% of the electorate before it can even go on strike. The hypocrisy of these Tories is disgusting. The trade union legislation they are pushing through criminalizes people who appear on the picket line without giving their names in advance to the police and even telling the police in advance what they're going to post on their personal Facebook pages. It appoints an officer called a certification officer who will have the powers of the High Court vested in him as an arbitrary decision maker who will be able to compel evidence under debt of imprisonment for contempt of court. And that's not evidence of a crime. That's evidence of entering a legitimate dispute with your employer. This is fascist legislation. This is fascism. Once you remove the right of workers to withdraw their labor, you are entering people into slavery because you are not free to withdraw your labor. You are a slave. And I want us here today to make one promise, all of us, which is if that Tory new union legislation goes through the very first time there's a legitimate industrial dispute in Scotland, we will all be there on the picket line. And they can try, try to arrest all of us. They can try to get all our names. They can try to get all our Facebook pages. We will make this unworkable. We've seen tax in the last week cuts go through to tax credits. We've seen the reaction. Jeremy Corbyn down in England is getting the same right-wing propaganda nonsense thrown at him that was thrown at us during the referendum campaign from the BBC, which is an organization which has outlived its use. We don't need a BBC in Scotland anymore in an independent Scotland. We have had enough. We have had enough of Tory rule. We have had enough of our freedoms being crushed. We have had enough of illegal wars. We are on our way to our own society, our own country, our own independence. 
We are on our way to freedom. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. King Morin. Well, I just want to make a real announcement. There are pickpockets among us. There are